A local emergency room doctor now helping patients in the COVID-19 crisis was there in Oklahoma City April 19th, 1995, 25 years ago this Sunday, to help people then too. Fox 23's Jana Clark talked to him about how that horrific day of the bombing changed him and why he now sees our state in a different light. Dr. Greg Gray is an emergency room doctor in Tulsa. Back in the 90s, he got the nickname Radar, like the character in the TV show MASH. Greg was part of the Disaster Medical Assistance Team, or DMAT, and right after 9 a.m. on April 19, 1995, his pager beeped. 9.02 a.m. was when the bomb went off. I got my first page from the state EOC at 9.03. He and part of his team flew by helicopter to Oklahoma City. We landed, uh, and IMSA ambulance picked us up and took us straight into the bombing site. Can you describe what you saw when you looked around? A lot of my friends who are Oklahoma City firefighters and police officers and IMSA medics and Mercy medics, crying. As an ER doctor, Greg says he was expecting to help people and quickly found he faced a different reality. He says he only helped one person who was still alive. We repackaged that patient and got that patient to the hospital. But um, it was heartbreaking. It was hard, especially when I, I had to tour the, the temporary morgue. That was probably the hardest. And the most realistic part that hit me the hardest was to see all the people who had passed on that we couldn't help. And I felt almost in a way worthless because I couldn't do what I was trained to do. But Greg says he did feel he helped his fellow first responders by just listening to those who had arrived earlier. People he went on to work with at other disasters like Hurricane Katrina and Oklahoma tornadoes. When I see some of these people that responded to these other disasters and they were also in the Oklahoma City bombing, we automatically have a bomb. And we don't have to say much because we know together we can get it done. Greg says when he was in medical school, an instructor had given him these words that had inspired him. Ten two-letter words. And it was, if it is to be, it is up to me. But after that Oklahoma City bombing, I think a lot of us realized we can't do a lot of things alone. It's a team effort. And so I changed one word. If it is to be, it is up to us. All of us. All of us. Not just because of first responders, but others he saw helping too, like a young man with a box of gloves who offered some to Greg. He said, this is what I can do. And so he was handing out those gloves. And others he said just showed up because they heard rescuers needed ice. All of a sudden there were a lot of cars. It was just Oklahomans. And they said, hey, here's a bag of ice. This is what I can do. And uh, it showed the Oklahoma spirit. Did that one day feel like change you forever? Oh, yeah. Wow. It did. It changed my priorities in life. My God is number one. My country is number two. My family is number three. And my job is number four. And people go, well, why is, why is God and country above your family? I go, well, after that Oklahoma City bombing, you, you can't have a good family, you can't have a good job, you can't have a good community without those first two things. Uh, my God and my country come first. Greg says the Oklahoma spirit he saw 25 years ago has carried him forward. We don't run away, we run to it, and we're going to help you, and we're going to get through it. Covering news that matters, Jana Clark, Fox 23 News. Wow, such a powerful interview. Images still fresh in his mind. Greg says when first responders from New York came here to help, Oklahomans fed them and provided gear. Then after 9-11, when Greg and his team went to help in New York, firefighters in turn gave them food. They told Greg, you guys set the standard.